In an industry where the entrance fee can be anything from free to hundreds of pounds for deluxe or collector's editions, it's more important than ever to get your money's worth. We've all been stung by an overpriced premium product that was actually broken as hell. Or conversely, maybe you played a tight 15 to 20 hour story that's worth more than any price tag could ever ascribe. If we're talking sheer bang for your buck though, sheer meat and potatoes content that also maintains a high bar of quality, I'm Scott from WhatCulture.com and these are the 10 biggest video games that are the most value for money. Number 10, The Elder Scrolls V, Skyrim. There's a reason it doesn't feel like any of us have ever truly finished Skyrim. Bethesda's magnum opus has a level of world building and structure that's second to none. Not only do we have environments dripping in detail and genuine culture, but even the books you can find on random NPC shelves come with reams of mythology and lore. That's not to mention how easily pick up and playable Elder Scrolls V is. An incredible character builder factors into combat and dialogue, and the genius Radiant Quest system will always generate a character or scenario focused around an area, township, or piece of gear you've not seen. Skyrim is the open-ended fantasy RPG, a stunning achievement in authored and procedural game design that feels endless in the best way. Number 9, Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain. Sometimes overshadowed by its messy final mission conclusion and fact Hideo Kojima was leaving Konami for Sony, we just don't celebrate how utterly exquisite the Phantom Pain was from a pure gameplay and structural standpoint. An intricate science experiment of item unlocks and customizable stealth action, you could spend a day perfecting how to infiltrate any given enemy outpost with a silenced pistol and your trusty K9 D Dog. Or you could explore vast chunks of Afghanistan and Africa, meticulously modeled from canyon to swampland and back again. MGS5's story is deliberately paced in a way to encourage indulgence in side missions, resource management, crafting, and open world impulse. The sheer amount of content present in every tactical option, companion AI interaction, interaction, researchable weapon, and unlock along the way is genuinely staggering. Number 8. Don't Starve Developers Clay Entertainment are one of the most underrated greats. A team with a devout artistic vision, they evolve and follow through on across every release, each game more impressive than the last. Case in point, Don't Starve, a title that casts you initially as Inventor Wilson, before dropping you on an island and asking that you find a way to survive. Trees can be cut down, shrubs collected, animals ensnared and killed for food. The world is always randomly generated, the goal being to accomplish not starving however you can. Besides material crafting and various other things I mentioned, enemies can also be befriended once you learn their wants and needs. And when it comes to how you want to make a living on the island, anything goes. The only real stipulation is finding a light source before darkness falls, as that's when the instant killing monsters come out. Awesome DLCs like Shipwrecked expanded everything by taking the action to the seas, letting you craft rafts, boats, and sails to go between a variety of smaller islands too. Various unlockable characters and different ways to stay alive always keep things fresh, ensuring Don't Starve has maintained one hell of a community from launch to right now. Number 7, Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag The newer Assassin's Creeds might be ginormous, Odyssey's map being one of the biggest in the franchise, but if we're talking about being engaged for that entire playtime, it has to be Ubisoft's take on the pirate life Black Flag. Taking on a series of assassination missions before hopping on your ship and catching the wind is a feeling no other open world title has ever come close to, and it's what gives this installment the edge over every other Assassin's Creed. Treasure hunts, underwater segments, rare animal hunts, debris scattering naval battles, Black Flag has it all and more. The sheer expansiveness of the environment made chasing the horizon a perfect metaphor for how you approach every gameplay option. Always searching for more things to do, enjoying every step of the way there with great characters and a fun story to boot. Number 6, Elden Ring. The culmination of every game design lesson learned since 2009's Demon Souls, Elden Ring expanded on From Software's uniquely strategic hack and slash feel, birthing one of the best game worlds of all time in the process. Exploration and experimentation are a given in an RPG, but you've not felt a buzz of discovery quite like The Lands Between. The sheer biome variety on display is one thing, but having the map expand and expand and expand for almost the entirety of the 100 hours necessary to beat it is something else entirely. The real shocking thing in the best way possible is how handcrafted every aspect feels. Elden Ring is like multiple Souls games all attached to a gargantuan connecting central landmass, never not wowing you with an encounter, weapon, ability, or just the visual of whatever's now stretching out in front. Even after you've finished, there's a world of story and lore elements to soak up and theorize about. Elden Ring is one of only a handful of newer titles that can remind us of a time when game worlds were mysterious and a genuine unknown quantity. 
For that, it's damn near magic. Number 5. XCOM Enemy Unknown Slash Within Something a bit different than huge landmasses to soak up your time, as the meticulous design of XCOM's 2012 revival and expansion Enemy Within make for a stupidly addictive tactics game you can't not keep playing more of. Top-down strategy fest, you'll build a custom team of soldiers to repel the alien hordes, with the wealth of options on how to do so being utterly staggering. Team members can be customized with everything from armor to cybernetic implants, fighting aliens that if killed give you XP and gear, or if captured alive can be studied, harvested and repurposed into all sorts of additional equipment. In between missions, you'll be tending to various timed elements surrounding the protection of the world itself, researching weapon and armor upgrades, unlocking armored suits, cloaking technology, biomechanics augments, everything just feeds into everything else, encouraging one more mission before bed that quickly turns into seeing 3am again. No one mission or run through the campaign is the same, and with so many battle modifiers, squad loadouts, and exquisitely designed menu systems, well, I have a copy of this on every platform possible. Number 4. Mad Max Destined to be one of the most overlooked games of all time thanks to dropping on the same day as MGS5, Mad Max's marketing and reception glossed over a really cool sense of survivalism, giving the game a great sense of identity once you get a handle on things like ammo conservation, water allowance, and fuel management. There is a story to pick away at if you want specifically designed missions, but along the way you're free to take back outposts, ram loot-filled convoys off the road, venture out into insane storms to catch pieces of valuable debris, and fight bosses that head up specific armored encampments. Your customizable vehicle of death and destruction sees a host of brutal upgrades, and though this is the Arkham Combat model at heart in between the carnage, Max's movements, haymakers, and shotgun finishers have a ludicrously satisfying unique sense of weight and feedback. Mad Max game fans have become quite a vocal bunch since 2015 when it comes to recommendations, and for good reason. Number 3. Fallout 4 from one wasteland to another, Fallout 4 might have played some aspects of being a sequel too safe, but that only let Bethesda cram the commonwealth full of things to see, do, unlock, and explore. In what can actually turn into an endless amount of side missions for various factions, upgrading guns, building settlements, and diving into franchise lore, Bethesda are known for making some of the most detailed games of all time. Loot grinds determine whether it's worth exploring for 30 seconds or 30 minutes, whilst main and side quests come with some of the best written and most detailed script writing in any of the studio's history. Character builds can also be incredibly varied, meaning that even if you think the credits spell the end of your first journey, it's more like finishing the tutorial. Number 2. The Witcher 3 – Wild Hunt 2015's The Witcher 3 arrived to save a generation struggling to find its footing. After the embarrassment of Watch Dogs and the deflation of the Order 1886, Wild Hunt stood tall and really showcased what the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One could do. Experiencing what CDPR had crafted was a real moment for gaming, drinking in gorgeous vistas, slaying scores of uniquely designed beasts, and taking on lengthy, well-written quests with awesome characters and deep moral quandaries. The main story will take you a good 80 plus hours, but that's if you're not distracted hoovering up question marks or picking a fresh direction to explore instead. Factor in two humongous DLC packs, one of which, Blood and Wine, feels like another sequel's worth of content, and if we're talking impressive authored material, The Witcher 3 is essential. And number one, Minecraft. At the top of the pile, the digital equivalent of playable LEGO, and an infinite world of potential that over a decade since launch is still one of the most played and enjoyed titles in all of entertainment. With the asking price only going down over time from mobile versions to the console and PC, Minecraft's vast creative toolset lets fans casual to hardcore create everything from entire movie sets and props to video games, working iPhones, detailed pieces of physical art, country landmarks, and more. You name it, they've built it, often on a shared server of like-minded architects honing their skills. Minecraft is also a really cool survival game with some genuinely scary nighttime sections as you try to get home safely, but most of all, this expanding set of tools only provided gasoline to the fires of our collective imaginations like nothing else. And those are my picks for the biggest video games that are the most value for money. Let me know your favorites down in the comments below and please subscribe to the What Culture Gaming podcast. For now, I've been Scott from whatculture.com and I'll catch you soon.